Hey y'all, what it is, bitch. Um, yeah, this is not a bra. This is a crop top that I used to wear a lot. And yeah, I still fit it pretty good, y'all. Mm. Anyway, y'all, I'm kind of in that era of my bipolar, I think, that I'm starting to become manic because, bitch, I woke up and I wanted to to make a video wearing something sexy. Um, If y'all start seeing more videos of me with less clothes and pictures on my community post with less clothes, y'all know what's what's done happen, bitch, I'm manic, okay? Anywho, I want to talk about this shit that's... Uh, a double-edged sword for me so to speak okay uh and i don't know if anybody else can relate to this um i know i have a lot of subscribers who has mental health issues as well um do y'all get bored quickly too um i do want a, a relationship that lasts long okay and like i used to have when i was in my early early 20s okay because back when, in my, when i was in my early 20s i was able to stand men longer because i was drunk right now that i've been sober for two years in the past two years i've just kind of analyzed it because y'all i'm almost 30 i'll be 30 in july and i've just been analyzing my dating career since i've gotten sober i got sober at 27 and since then and since i've divested yes i've had a few white boyfriends that weren't long enough i mean <laughs> not in the bed they were great in bed but they weren't long enough in the relationship and i'm like hmm did, was i right for leaving them and yes i was right for leaving a lot of these dudes for sure but you know i i'm just i long for a relationship that lasts longer than four months is my point like i'm tired of giving up so soon but me i cannot make myself you know be with someone who's a cheap asshole example the last dude i was with for two months one who didn't want to pay for my vacation um he was a cheap asshole he says some other mean things i, I don't even want to get into it y'all but he was an asshole and he was cheap i mean the only thing that was his redeeming quality was his looks and his dick so you know and i was like you know, i'm wasting my fucking time and here's the thing y'all i get bored quickly okay i'm kind of like a dude with that which i fucking hate because yes you may give, give me some good dick and you may give me some good tongue lashing and the coochie and the ass that's great but you know if if everything else sucks I'm not I'm go I'm gone bitch I, I can't sit there and stay miserable okay and like it's it's a good thing and a bad thing because I feel like I'm missing out on longer relationships and I crave that I want love but at the same time if someone is boring the shit out of me I just want to get hump on hump on somebody else damn like <laughs> you know I <sighs> anyway y'all but um it looks like I am going on vacation this um summer still so that's good but at the same time I still want to find my favorite forever person but it's so hard when you have bipolar and bpd and your brain is always doing fucking backflips and then the people that you attract are fucking weird assholes like you i mean i'm i'm kind of an asshole i'm not gonna lie i'm a big asshole but you know i'm i have an asshole in control when i'm when i'm dating okay i try to be the most respectful to my mans as possible but, but sometimes it's just so hard but yeah do y'all have problems keeping a, um staying with a man because like that's my issue like i be leaving motherfuckers okay and this this is things i would not have done in my early 20s because in my early 20s i just kind of lay down and take it so to speak the abuse and all that i don't even want to get into all that shit but most people know what i'm referring to and what i'm talking about if you've watched me a long time i used to just be super passive and just hold on so hard and i don't do that shit no more and um also yeah my tits are great oh my god i can't believe when i was younger i wanted a boob job <laughs> when i was younger i wanted a boob job so bad my tits look amazing though anyway um but yeah i'm manic and i'm having these manic thoughts early as fuck in the morning and i wanted to dress up and look sexy and part of it is because i saw dolja cat um post her new pictures of her ass out and i'm like bitch i need to start looking sexy in my videos again like i used to bitch and show some body while talking my shit but yes it's still uh white dicks latino dicks asian dicks only over here okay just because i get manic and this is what gets my nerves just because i get manic and just because i have bipolar and bpd does not mean that changes anything about how i feel about uh white men over black men fuck niggas okay i don't i still don't do with y'all that has not changed my mind my mind is still like yeah black men are not it okay at all now another part of my divestment that is like I've realized my divestment is for me similar to my sobriety my sobriety is for me which means that I can protect my sobriety I can make sure that I don't drink just I feel the same way with my divestment I can make sure that I don't deal with black men because I don't 
But at the same time, as much as I would love to encourage more women to not deal with black men, I can make a lot of y'all change. I'm not talking about my, my, my about my subscribers, but I've still gotten random comments from people who are not even subscribed to me that just come across my video like, oh, well, I still might love my black hangs. Well, stay over there with shit logs then. I'm, I mean, you can't change your own woman's mind just like you can't change the drug addict's mind. I feel like a lot of these mammies are damn addicts or damn shit log and they will never fucking change. So I can just do my own divestment stuff and jump on all the white meat I want to, okay? And be fine, okay? And just live in my, um, because I still want a white husband. I still want biracial kids. I still want that. But it's just like, girl, I get so hypersexual sometimes. I get so bored easily sometimes. I don't want to stay around, but there's a lot of times where I don't need to stay around. And it's just like, girl, when is there going to be a time where I can actually feel safe staying around a man and be happy at the same time and not be so bored? I would hate to be that housewife that finally finds a man of her dreams and gets so bored that she fucks it up. That's one of my biggest fears, y'all, because I am such a uh, mess. Anyway, bye, y'all. That's all I have to say. This is a manic rant. Yeah. Yes, uh, I look fucking good though. Mm -hmm. Bye.